When you're new to precision long range shooting, getting hits at distance can seem like a difficult thing, and the setup process can seem daunting. But with advancements in rifles, optics, ammunition, and ballistic calculators, that is easier than ever before. Historically, it's a process that might have taken a couple of days, but now with those advancements, we can get this done in many cases within a couple of hours. And we're gonna show you how to do that. We're gonna take you from zero to hero and show you how efficiently getting hits at distance can be done. The first step in the process is zeroing. So we wanna make sure that we have a really precise zero because that's gonna affect everything downrange after that. We're zeroing at 100 yards, and there's a simple reason for that. The bullet is less affected by environmental, so you don't have to worry about wind coming into play or the angle at which you're shooting. So this is where we really wanna take our time, make good shots, make this zero as precise as possible. Follow all the shooting fundamentals that we've talked about before, all these things are in line because this is going to set in place everything that happens going forward. All right, so as I prepare for this zeroing session, we've gone through that fitment process to make sure that the rifle's set up. Uh, now we're gonna make sure we have body alignment, we'll make sure we set our parallax, and then we check for natural point of aim. We can't stress how important this portion is. Okay, so here I'm going to add a tenth of elevation. Okay, so now that we have our zero, we're gonna go into the next step, which is the chronograph. The reason why we chronograph is to get specific data on our specific platform, meaning our rifle and our ammunition. Many times people want to look at the information that comes on the box of ammunition if they're using factory ammunition. The problem is this is a generic approach and they've used different equipment to get those numbers. When we chronograph for our own setup, we get data that's specific to our needs. All right, so we just finished the five shot string. We've got an average velocity of 2,841 feet per second. And this is the information we'll enter into our ballistic solver. Now I'm going to use the Geo Ballistics Ballistic Arc on my phone instead of going with something like a Kestrel. And that decision is up to you. It's important to note um, the velocity that we pulled from the chronograph was 2,841 feet per second at the muzzle. And when you look at the box of ammunition, it says their muzzle velocity is 2950. So there's a little discrepancy there and that's exactly why we chronograph specific for our setup. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna enter in our bullet information. So we're shooting six Creedmoor and we're shooting a 109 grain bullet from Berger. So I'll scroll to that, I'll select that and the bullet comes up here and it enters in automatically. You'll look at the, the drag function which is a G7 it matches up with what's on the on the box. So that's your ballistic coefficient of 0.292. So those things match up. As we go further down, we have things such as your sight height, which you're gonna wanna have specific. You wanna know the distance of the optic over the bore. So on this one, it's about two inches. Our zero range is 100. Um, our barrel twist is 7.5, and our muzzle velocity of 2841 feet per second. Once we have all that information in, we simply save and then our ballistics calculator will start giving us solutions. So now we're ready to true at distance. When we true at distance, what we're basically going to do is try to make sure that what the rifle is doing is matching up with what we're getting through the ballistic calculator. Keep this in mind. We can't change what the rifle is actually doing. We can only change what the ballistic calculator is giving us. So that's the comparison that we're gonna make. So right now we're going to dial to what the app says at 600 yards based on this uh, 20, 41 feet per second, which is 3.5 mil. 
white plate. I would hold right edge. Okay. And now you're to the left edge. All right, so I pressed out several shots and it looks like I'm impacting low. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that we're getting hits on the target. So I'm going to shoot again, making sure that I get on target. Once I am on target and I'm getting those solid hits and they're as consistent as they can be, I'm going to note what the actual elevation is in the optic and then I'm going to plug that information into the ballistic calculator and it will true up the rifle for me. Okay. Right now. Yeah. About two mils left, roughly. I'm going to make a couple more adjustments for the wind here. I'd say it's reasonably well centered already. Now I'm going to come up a tenth. Now I'm going to come up another tenth. That's pretty dead on. All right, so it looks like we're finally on target the way that we want to be. I've noted the come ups. Uh, on my elevation here on my scope and next what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross-reference them with what the app is telling me. Uh, I will punch this information in and then the app will calculate all this stuff and match it together. With the advancement in rifle, ammunition, optics, and ballistic solvers, it's now easier than ever to shoot at distance quickly and efficiently. Following these steps will help you to do so.